Welcome to Seals on the Move. I'm Alex Seals, and Rosie Seals is along for the ride. Today we are in Atlanta, Georgia at Putt Shack, a new crazy tech-infused miniature golf course. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. We are making a beeline for Beeline Boulevard. It's a bad joke, but hey, it's applicable. We are in the Interlock neighborhood, I think. Empty place over there. Check started in London and Atlanta is its first location in America. Locations will be coming to Boston, Chicago, Miami, and Nashville. Players do not have to keep their own score as the ball they get will have all of their info inside of it and it will keep score. When you place your ball on the tee-off spot, the spot reads the ball and transmits the information to a screen overhead. This is known as track-a-ball technology. Super tubes are an extra 10 points if you can hit the ball into them. They also seem to lead the ball directly to the hole. Just something I wanted to add on the FAQ section of Putt Shack's website, in response to if small dogs are allowed, they say, hundreds of dogs chasing balls, funny, but not practical. It helps you hit the final hole in one shot most of the time. But yellow and black lines takes those points off and makes it harder for you, all right? Okay. Not no matter what. You gotta hit that ball into that final hole and take it out. Finish it and move on. Who's bruising wrong? Bruise wrong. Sorry? Ro Rosa running? Me. That's you. All right. <laughs> now, the order you two go in does not matter. Okay. Place your ball in that teardrop on the black circle. Wait for every light to go green, you see that name on the screen. All right. All right. Awesome. Thanks. Let's yeah. get to get our cutter. Uh, different sizes. where it goes at the end. I'll say get that. Oh yeah, this thing's cool. Sales on the move. Lights up too. Can I do it? Okay, there it is. Oh, oh, holy one! Ah! Yes! Holy one! Hole in one!
I would say that's a yes. That's a true. I would say it's true. That was that's the year I graduated college, and that's when people got the iPhone. Oh no, it was 2007. I was wrong. Oh well. Pac-Man will assist you in getting the ball in the hole. See, can you do it? Can you get it into Pac-Man? Oh, you got robbed. Oh, the ghost got gotcha. you. <laughs> You're in a much better position than I was, though. I thought it would have bounced. Look at that. It wasn't so hard. You're in a much better position than I was. Okay, let's see. Can I do it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that is score. so cool. Did you get my score? Plus three. Oh. The prize wheel chooses a prize that you will win if you get a hole in one. Mine was a free game of mini golf. something for free if you can make it in in a hole in one and the round the thing doesn't count as a hole as a shot five dollars off food and drink that would be really helpful so get a hole in one we get five dollars off
you go. 250. dark back here. There's some cool stuff. There's a heavy emphasis on video games on the walls, yet no arcade. The art is pretty cool though. played is the Amber Course. This is the Emerald Course and it is completely different aside from the trivia hole and the hole where you can win prizes. I feel like this one is centered around items you would find in a game room at home. Connect 4, Air Hockey, Pinball, Pinball Machine, and Foosball. Uh, 
a museum of old handheld pinball games awaits you as you climb the stairs. The price per game at the time we went was only $12 for adults, $8 for kids. Not bad in my opinion. Windows are really cool. I love the bright, full colors. Just so you know, there is no parking at Putt Shack, so you may have to pay for parking when you come to play your game of mini golf. Pac Man Kill Screen. The Oregon Trail in wood. Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle. It's a nerd paradise. Mario 3 map. You can see Atlanta in the distance and the Ikea that we filmed at in our Ikea video, where it was our first time at Ikea. Still the only Ikea I've ever been to. You can use these to book a game or sign in if already reserved. They are located downstairs and upstairs. It's a banana, their caution sign. That's hilarious. It's like Mario Kart. We will have a separate video reviewing the, spoiler, delicious food at Putt Shack. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Which course was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Mine was the drum set, Rosie's was the Pac-Man one. If you like this video, get a hole in one by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribe to stay under par and stay up to date with our adventures, put the video over to your friends by sharing, and hit the bell icon with your golf ball to be notified of future videos. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. Even a dollar helps. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.